74 yards of real estate in front of the Bulldogs with no timeouts, trying to get a, another score on the board right before half. They lead it 28-21. to 21. John Ford takes a chest-high snap, steps up, spins away. Now he'll just throw it, and it's fumbled on the far sideline. They'll call it incomplete. Yeah, that's an incomplete pass. He tried to dump it off to Grant, and it don't like Grant ever really had any uh, possession, but that helps the Bulldogs because yeah. it stops the clock. That's right. And once again, well, yeah, once again, a free rusher came through. You had uh, somewhere there was a little miscommunication along that offensive line, and a free rusher was on top of Ford before he could even set his feet and look downfield. One minute to play. Bulldogs, second and ten from their own 16. Trying to get a score before the half. Ford throws left. Jaheim Shaq catches it. Can't get out of bounds, but there is a flag. Yeah, I think it's going to be another holding penalty on the Bulldogs. Flag well, came out quickly. Actually, I'm wrong. It is on uh, Southwest. Hands to the face. Wow. I like to be wrong in that situation. Yeah. More than glad to be wrong. So that will give the Bulldogs a little bit better field position and a first down. Down and distance almost moot at this point with just 52 seconds left and no timeouts. Good news is you get the clock stoppage after first downs here inside of two minutes. Ball goes all the way up to the 35-yard line. Pump fake left, four, throwing left, catch made down the sideline. Deion Smith into the open field, turns on the Jets at the five, in for the touchdown. Deion Smith, 65-yard score, just like that. Give it to number one. And what a what a throw into a tight window. I can't wait to see the video replay of that because there was a defender on both sides of Smith. He was bracketed, and that was a perfectly delivered ball by Ford right in between the double coverage and just another huge conversion by Smith. Deion Smith looking like another Deion out there. So it'll be a kick from Jalen Ballard. It's up. It's good. 40 seconds to play. Bulldogs go up by two scores. We'll stay uh, right here. Boswell Media Sports. First down 10 at the 24-yard line. Holmes trails it by seven. We have 8.38 to go in the ball game. At this point, Cliff, you feel like you almost need some kind of defensive score. Yeah, you know, a, a pick six, a scoop and score, something, some big defensive play to really turn the tide. Chris Tucker is going to run it himself. He's bear hugged. He'll throw it last second, and that is picked off. Going down the sideline, returning it for a touchdown. Are the Bulldogs asking you shall receive? Twice in a row. Great job by the Bulldogs. It's a mistake by Chris Tucker. Just flicking it out off the sideline and streaming it down the field. Boswell Media Sports. Well, that moves the ball into East Central Territory. Johnson's a big body back there, man. Yeah, let's see. They have him listed at 6'2", 230. It's an empty backfield this time for the Bulldogs. Nigel Johnson looking, throwing over the middle. Jaheim Shaq catches it at the 20, breaks the tackle. He'll stroll into the end zone for a 43-yard touchdown catch, and the Bulldogs take the lead. What a great throw by Nigel Johnson delivered on the money on that crossing route. Kind of a skinny post. He let it come by the safety, get across the field, and hit the receiver, Shaq, in stride. Beautiful play. Were were you like me and collectively holding your breath when the ball went over the middle of the field? (laughs) Yeah. But it was was there. The play was there. After the many interceptions, the Bulldogs have. And and what a great job by Shaq of breaking the tackle tackle, to score. Only problem is they scored a little.